Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And breaking news, Rassi Erasmus has just named his first Springbok squad since taking over the head coach role once again. And uh, it's a very interesting squad. It is the squad that will take on Wales on the 22nd of June. And a very complicated squad with it being um, outside the test window, meaning certain players are unavailable. Some players can train with the box, but not uh, available to play in that Wales game. So we're going to go through the squad and look at a, a couple of players who are currently injured, for example, or weren't considered. And uh, maybe even uh, we'll, we'll tomorrow we'll have a look at uh, a sort of a predicted 15, uh, potentially for a Wales. Um, but uh, before we do that, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's get stuck into it, shall we? We'll start with the forwards. And this is who has been named. Right, let's go through it, shall we? Pepsi Butalazi has been awarded for his... A uh, fine form in the Sharks, and uh, very good to see him there. Joseph Draper has called it, uh, has earned a recall, um, but pretty solid for the Stormers. Uh, even tonight, I thought he had a pretty decent game. Uh, one or two bad, bad, uh, sort of dodgy lineups, but uh, brings so much physicality when he does play. Uh, you then got Ben Jason Dixon, uncapped player who's been called up for his first call up. Uh, we did see him as part of one of the alignment camps. Good to see him getting an opportunity there. Uh, I think very much in the mold of the player. Listen, underneath them, when it's Peter Stapes a toy in terms of high work, Greg gets around the park. Um, even Ed Smith favoured potentially to take the captaincy for that Wales squad. Nearly Bashir also uncapped in the squad there. Vincent Koch uh, and fine for the Sharks after the week coming, um, going over that injury and in the squad over there. You then got France by Herbert. Malcolm Marks back in the squad. Fit. And ready to make his return. Mongi Manambi there as well. Instugo is... Um, one of the two recognized loose sets in the squad. Salman Murat gets a call up as well. Um, I think he's, a, he's an interesting player, Salman Murat. He's been heavily touted as, as, as a future Springbok for many times. He is a Springbok, actually. He's, he's, he is capped. Um, but we've really not had too many options for Ethan Etzebeth at number four. And he has been seen as the potential replacement, long-term replacement for him. Franco Mostert back in the side. Mr. Reliable. Oxen Chair. Evan Lewis back in the mix. Quacker Smith. Andre Hugo Fenter, the young hooker, getting an opportunity. And Jasper Visa will train with the squad along with the likes of uh, Andre Pollard, but will not be available to play against Wales. Uh, because it does fall outside the test window. Let's look at the back, shall we? Damien Delendi, Fife de Klerk, Andre Esterhazen. Andre Esterhazen, I think, is available uh, for the Wales game because he's now technically left Harlequins and is a Sharks player. And I think, therefore, it is he is available. There's no mention that it's not available. Um, you then got Apple Lefassi, who's a uh, good form, has earned him a recall to the squad. Sash the famer Gomazulu. Um, is, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's time, isn't it? He's had another good game today, and uh, he gets rewarded with a call-up, um, as does Jordan Hendrickson, um, who's not had a lot of game time, but covers 10 and 12. Um, the big news as well, in terms of a couple of big, of, of big uh, players, is Ethan Hooker, somebody who I don't even think would have been on the radar six months ago. Um, he's been rewarded for his amazing form for the Sharks, a very exciting young player coming through. Uh, Kieran Horn, captain of a fantastic season of the Lions with a call-up as well. Cheslin Colby, Jesse Creel, Mike Liebach, Marcus Oliver, Pimpy, the usual suspects. Then Stia Masuku, he couldn't be ignored, can he? He gets that call-up over there. Andre Paul, a bit like Jasper Visa, will train with the squad, but not be able to play against uh, Wales. Morning Vandenberg, and then a very cool one for me, Edel van der Merwe, who I didn't really think... Seem to be on the box radar, but uh, I really rate him, and, and I'd love to see him get a go against Wales. And Grant Williams completing the squad there over there. So in terms of what Rusty Rasmus has had to say about the playing group, um, he said as follows. Um, we selected a group of players featuring a good mix of youth and experience. And in terms of the young players, uh, especially, we believe they have the potential to make the step up to, in, to top international rugby. We've been following their performances closely. We had the luxury of presenting our plans to them and getting to know them as individuals off the field at the alignment camps. And we are pleased with the enthusiasm they showed and the willingness to learn. With the players based in Europe, the UK and Ireland not available for Wales, like an Archie Salmon, for example, we anticipate that there will be a few players making their test debuts in that match. But even for those who did not make the cut, Having them in camp again, a chance to work closely with them on the field will set them and the team in good stead as we prepare for the set this season and not start laying the foundation for the 2027 World Cup in Australia. Uh, he then added that we gained immense value by granting a few players a chance to prove what they can do at international levels in the last few years. Leading up to the 2023 World Cup, some of the players who made their test debuts in that time were members of the squad that lifted the trophy in Paris and we feel it is important that we continue blooding new players 
as we build towards the future. As things stand, we have a bunch of young players that already have test experience and who know exactly how we operate as a team and what is expected of them at this level. And we have no doubt that we will reap the rewards in the years to come as we continue to increase our squad depth. And he says, as always, there are a few unlucky players who missed out on selection this time, but the door will always be open for them to call up if the need arises. Uh, lots of players also, by the way, that aren't available. So the likes of Steven Kitsoff, Lourdes Diaga, and Jaden Hendrickson have all been uh, or not considered because they are unavailable. I think Senator Nina Humber probably um, falls into that category, went off last week. Uh, with a pretty bad looking concussion so i think that that'll be one of the reasons that he's potentially been left out because i'd be very surprised if they didn't actually genuinely look at him um so there are a couple of players obviously we're there but it's an interesting squad uh instead we we have a bit of time to look at a bit of time to assess and on uh, on monday we'll probably put out a video with a potential predicted uh team for that wales game um i think players that could be making davies i think kuhn horn makes a very good case for himself in that number 15 jersey uh, I think Sasha Fame and Gomezulu could very well be coming off the bench. Uh, Simasuku could be getting an opportunity there. Edelman and Merva, I'd say he's somebody I'd love to see get given a go. Um, if we look at uh, at the forwards, for example, um, I think that um, Aaron Rose is going to give it a chance. I'd love to see Ben Jason Dixon given a go as well. He's been in really good form. Pepsi put lazy as well as a starting player. So uh, it's a nice mix. I like the squad. Uh, in terms of players who are unlucky to miss out, I still look, you know, from a like a Lions perspective, and I look at the likes of Frank Verhoorn, I'm, I'm sort of surprised he's not more on the radar. Um, in terms of other players who have missed out, I don't think there's too many. I think Archiva Daimani, for me, is somebody who I think could add a lot of value in Boris Papier. They wouldn't be considered, but um, because he's at, uh, he's at the Bulls, but he's somebody who, uh, who once they do consider Bulls players, who I think should be back in that mix. Uh, but obviously no Bulls players considered, no players in France considered, and the players, a couple of players in the UK that are considered, the likes of Jesper Visa and Andre Pollard can't play against Wales at the moment. Good to see a couple of players back, the likes of a Malcolm Marks, for example. Uh, but yeah, what do you think about the squad? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.